Okay then guys, what is going on? We are back inside of Helldivers 2 as we've completed the major order and await the next move for the Galactic War. We have an additional video going up for you guys today. This one's going to be community focused and this is all of the things that you guys have been talking about and speaking with regards to the new major order. We've got some other opinions coming in here as well with regards to a new diver. This one's interesting. We're going to get diver in right now so if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated on top of that check out our sponsor instant gaming the platform for all your favorite games from steam origin battle.net you play and indie games on the playstation xbox and nintendo switch all up to 70 percent off the complete digital games of instant delivery 24 7 it's an absolute no-brainer head down to the description and purchase your games a little bit cheaper today with that being said though let's take a look of what's going on with the community right now and in this video we're going to kick start the giveaways again so make sure you stay tuned for that one but starting off the new war bond has officially been announced and it's an interesting one the main reason for that is this is going to be the first war bond of its kind there are not many things that are going to be the same with regards to this and we've got a lot happening with the viper commandos war bond there's loads of things entailed, but it seems like the community is more excited about just one item inside of this war bond. As you can see right here via Reddit post, 1.9 thousand upvotes. The instant I found out we had a sword off, I knew what I needed. This right here looks incredible. This is a triple barrel sword off shotgun. This is going to be absolutely mad, and it seems that they have really gone ball to the wall on it. It looks absolutely amazing. Obviously, the news on this one is that it is not a lever action but it break action which has some cool reloads as well so this is going to be an amazing one mainly because a lot of people are comparing this to the main terminator shotgun it's a little bit shorter and it doesn't have the same impact but i understand where it's going and they've taken a lot of inspiration inside of this war bond with regards to like predator and other films and stuff like that a lot of you guys will know what i mean if you do then let me know via the comment section. I'm intrigued to see how many of you guys saw the cheeky Easter eggs from this war bond. The second post right here received 2.3 thousand upvotes that states, I like the look of the new war bond secondary. What about shotguns? You already have one. I have one shotgun, yes. But what about second shotgun? This one is hilarious and a great meme indeed. These shotguns seem to have taken a bit of a prevalent usage inside of this game with ARs that are taking a bit of a back end on this one as we see via this reddit post which received 17 thousand upvotes stating i hope this one is good this is the liberator carbine and hopefully this is going to go against the trend that we've seen so far as the meme states arrowhead this is the seventh week in a row you've shown a mediocre assault rifle in class it's hilarious but you can see right here we've got the liberator concussive the penetrator so on and so forth and these are all relatively mediocre to a point where not a lot of people will actually use them the liberator carbine is my first insight to hopefully having a weapon in the assault rifle category that will actually be quite good let me know what you guys are saying via the comment section below or if you guys like a lot of the community already have a bit of a disappointing aspect to this one i think that this is going to be okay i would like to hope that they've had enough time to work on this so that it hits a bit of a steady flow and it's a little bit more brought up towards where these shotguns are inside of the scale of balance we obviously have a balance patch coming on tuesday which is going to be dropping just before this war bond actually comes into play so i'm hoping that the other ars get brought up to a decent scale this one comes in and just completely runs and dominates those new ARs. That's how it should purposely operate. For me personally, means that we've got a couple of days to run in with some of the older weapons that we've not had time use for and the ARs are a little bit more prevalent and then we manage to get the new Liberator Carbine and then we can use that and enjoy it as well. It would be nice because as far as the war bond goes, we only see one primary weapon. I don't know how this war bond's going to look as far as actually on the screen because beforehand we had three weapons and they'd all be on different pages. We've only got access to one visionary on this one, which is a little bit strange to say the least. So we'll see how these war bonds actually play out. But let me know if you guys are excited for the Liberator Carbine or not. 
One thing that seems to have gone a little bit underrated though is this right here. State, somebody stating with nearly 2.4 thousand upvotes and I completely agree with this. Somebody states, maybe it's just me but I feel more excited for the new jungle biome than the war bond itself. Now I am so damn excited for a jungle biome. I think it's going to be absolutely incredible. It really switches things up. A lot of the issues with regards to hell divers as to the actual play style right now is that the planets that we're diving on all seem to be relatively the same. We're stuck in the same sort of areas right now where everything looks the exact same. Everything has the same shaders. The palettes are all the same. The areas that we're running around are all just the same rocks and stones. And yes, that's definitely a D-Rock Galactic <laughs> reference. But we are diving around and it all just seems to be the same planets that we have access to. With the back and forth in the Galactic War right now, we're playing a lot on the same planets and it is getting a little bit dull with the surroundings. So bring me this jungle biome and let me run forth and Tarzan my ass into it. Now before we get into the next part though, we are going to be doing a giveaway here on the channel again. We wanted to get them back up and rolling and get you guys your free copy of Helldivers. But if you've already got the game, don't panic. We're giving the money equivalent in super credits. We'll start off the first one this weekend, so make sure you stay tuned for it. All you have to do is head down to the comment section and put a super earth emoji in the comments. This will enter you in for the new giveaway and it will be a easy one to produce we're going to be announcing it on the community page and on the giveaway announcement page in the discord if you pop a super earth earth emoji in the comment section below i'll pick one this sunday that being said though let's dive on into the rest of the video as we've got loads still to go over this next post is a humble one to say the least and we know that we love these humble stories and i don't think it got enough credit over on reddit with less than a thousand upvotes listen to this one as we are months into the game it states thank you from a new diver i bought the game today and just joined some random games and a level one ended up joining joining this guy who had just started a big mission to find some samples. He gave us a tour around the map and explained what each point of interest was. When we finished the mission, he took us into a bot mission. Literally said, take these mechs and go and do the main objective. It'll be fun. I'm going run around and get samples and called in both of the mechs stratagems for me and the other newbie now i'm presuming there was him and a friend that had done that because we already know that you can't actually call in two mechs at the same time unless you are different people but nonetheless nonetheless we stomped off to kill some bots and it was fun after we cleared the objectives we met back up with him to finish clearing the map the entire time he was saying things like you're doing great and you'll get there in no time it was a lot of fun and I'm grateful he took the time to stop and just help out a bunch of new players. I hope to run into him again some time. It's left me really looking forward to interacting with the community. Now this is one thing which I absolutely love about this community is that we are genuinely so humble, so wholesome and we are for the most part a bunch of nice people just wanting to help each other out. This seems to happen quite a lot in the game and it's probably one of the more humble communities you'll find inside of gaming as of right now. Now, it doesn't happen all too often and even though we have dropped in player base there is a minute amount of people playing in comparison to the amount that were originally playing we have been left with this absolutely incredible bunch of people that all collide together me personally i absolutely love it and it's really nice to see exactly how this one has panned out moving into the actual game though this is something that i think is kind of going a little bit scarily but this reddit post received 3.4 thousand up votes and i think that they nailed it on the head this hopefully will come with the balance patch and change things but it states the bots are kind of winning the war today i was looking at all of the planets i fought on looking at the galactic map and i noticed just how far penta was from the front line it was deep into automaton territory i remember so recently having fought there and then i began looking around it wasn't just penta but also menkent vernon wells short bay chewy lezath marfark all these planets i fought on a month ago have fallen it feels like they are actually just pushing back 
we have almost lost the Hydra sector. And I believe once Azir Pass falls, then the bots will have advanced to another furthest point. And this bit is a little bit of a painful one. For me personally, this game is absolutely incredible, although the automaton side does get abused a hell of a lot. We don't see much side in front of it, and it doesn't really get much usage in comparison to the Terminid side. We all know that we all enjoy the Terminids a lot more as the easy factor when it comes to the MOs. When it comes to actually wanting to challenge yourself and do it off your own accord, the bots are always a forefront that we just want to dive into to get that challenge worth but the term is for the most part is the easiest mo's to achieve in the time frame that they've been giving us based on everything as of right now so what should we be doing right now with only a couple of sectors left on the terminated side for me i'll be heading over to the automatons as of later on tonight this is something that i want to really dive into so if you guys are around and want to dive into some automatons then do make sure you hit me up We'll get in the comment sections, get into the Discord, and we're going to just start hammering through some automaton beasts later tonight. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It's incredible to go through the community-focused videos like this, as well as everything going in-game, because I just think it brings a little bit of positivity and camaraderie and brings in the conversation for a lot of things happening that we don't normally talk about. Thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate your faces. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the clouds.